you, Mr. President. I'm pleased to uh, join my colleagues, the esteemed senator from West Virginia and the uh, senior senator from Texas today to talk about the importance of producing more energy in America. And uh, that means that we've got to find a way uh, to press back against the Biden administration's harmful policies that have caused energy prices to increase and fueled inflation across our entire economy. Gas prices today, $3.46 nationally. That's the average, $3.46 nationally. Uh, nationally, that's up 45 percent since President Biden took office, almost 50 percent increase. And that means <laughs> everyone out there every day is paying 50 percent more at the pump. And it's not just that. It's the impact on inflation. There's an uh, energy component in every good, in every service that people buy. And 50 percent increase in the price of uh, gas at the pump. And think what that means, that 50 percent increase in energy costs uh, in, in terms of the inflation uh, that's hitting Americans so hard right now. Residential electricity prices spiked 25 percent during the same period. And uh, natural gas prices up more than 50 percent. More than 50 percent. So, uh, you know, what's causing this? Well, clearly it is the Biden uh, administration policies. They've spent the last two years restricting and curtailing U.S. energy production in pursuit of this Green New Deal. It started the day one when President Biden came into office with uh, his canceling the Keystone XL pipeline. And it's continued uh, with the moratorium that he put on federal oil and gas leases shortly thereafter. President Biden, Biden administration, uh, along with members of Congress, Democrat members of Congress, then passed a partisan bill that levied $735 billion in new taxes, including a new tax on natural gas and higher fees and royalties uh, rates uh, on federal energy production. So not only putting a moratorium in place on oil and gas production on federal lands, but then later coming back and say, okay, they'll start uh, allowing some production, but only 20 percent of those federal uh, lands are available, and they increased, the Biden administration increased royalty rates by 50 percent. Well, when you restrict supply and raise the cost, of course, that's going to raise uh, the price of energy in this country, and it's going to reduce the supply. So now the Biden administration is doubling down with an onslaught of regulatory overreach specifically designed to make American energy production more expensive. This includes the Waters of the U.S. regulation. The Waters of the U.S. Uh, rule uh, absolutely impacts uh, everybody across this country. It, it's a fundamental uh, property rights issue. And it, again, not only affects our production of energy, but ag products and everything else. It makes no sense that while energy prices are high, instead of embracing America's energy producers, President Biden has drained our strategic petroleum reserve to its lowest level in 40 years while going to the Middle East and places like Venezuela for our energy. Think about it. Think about their record on environmental stewardship. Think about their record on human rights. And instead of producing more energy here at home, going to places like Venezuela and allowing them to export their energy to the United States. The Biden administration should not to turn to places like Iran and Venezuela for more oil. Countries with little to no environmental standards, when we have the capability to ramp up production here in this country. In 2019, the U.S. produced 13 million barrels of oil per day, including 1.5 million barrels per day from my state, North Dakota. U.S. oil in production remains down at about 12.1 million barrels per day. So that's a million less than when the administration, a million barrels a day less than when the administration came into office, a million barrels a day. Uh, for example, in our state, uh, we're producing a little over a million barrels a day when we were at 1.5 million 
barrels a day at the beginning of the Biden administration. Increasing the supply and lowering the cost of energy is key to attacking inflation because, as, as I said earlier, the cost of energy is built into every other good and service consumed across this country. Now, to this end, I've introduced some legislation to expand our domestic energy production and enhance the energy security of the United States and our allies. Uh, the North American Energy Act brings certainty to the permitting process for important cross-border energy pipelines and electric transmission line projects and prevents the President from taking unilateral action to cancel vital energy projects like the Keystone XL pipeline. The promoting inter, uh, interagency coordination for review of natural gas projects act streamlines the review process for interstate natural gas pipelines and LNG projects, helping to more efficiently deliver natural gas to areas that need it the most. And uh, more pipelines are needed to deliver natural gas to areas, uh, including New England, uh, the presiding officer, your state. We need pipelines up there. There's still people up there that use fuel oil rather than natural gas because we don't have the pipeline capacity up there to bring it to them. That uh, obviously increases their costs. And again, going back to environmental standards, uh, clearly uh, advantageous if they were able to utilize natural gas. The Bureau of Land Management Mineral Spacing Act is the third act I would mention uh, that I have uh, put forth that improves the permitting process uh, in states like North Dakota and others where you've got split mineral estates uh, where federal government uh, has they have no surface acreage, but the minerals underneath that uh, the land is in some cases owned by the federal government, some cases owned by private uh, individuals and others, and they're held up from producing those minerals because of the federal ownership, even when the uh, federal government doesn't own any of the surface acres. Removing this uh, duplicative requirement for a federal drilling permit in these cases would empower private mineral holders to develop their resources and produce more energy while enabling the uh, federal agencies like BLM to actually better utilize their resources. These three common sense permitting reforms are included in H.R. 1, the Lower Energy Costs Act, which is currently being considered in the, uh, on the House floor, H.R. 1. And it's time for us to go to work on a bipartisan basis in this chamber, take the handcuffs off our energy producers and produce more energy here at home for American consumers in this country. The United States is fortunate to have abundant and affordable reserves of coal, oil, and gas, and these resources are one of our nation's greatest strengths. It is incredible, an incredible asset, and nobody has better environmental stewardship than our country in producing energy. Thanks to the shale revolution, the U.S became the world's largest oil and gas producer, and we've been able to do it uh, while simultaneously reducing emissions. I mean, the carbon capture technologies that we are advancing uh, are actually reducing emissions. Once again, encouraging domestic production by streamlining energy project approvals to get energy to market, we can unleash America's full energy potential to increase supply and bring down costs for hardworking families. And I now uh, will yield the floor.